I believe yesterday was very, very appointed time with the Lord. And I believe that God did something spiritual and physical in our life. I always encourage myself never to forget any encounter you have with the Master. Because people have got so familiar with that, with experiences with God, until even if God shows up in their life, they forget so easily. And probably that is the moment that God did one thing that is the only thing they have been expecting of God. So whenever you have an encounter with Jehovah, take it and always embrace it and honor and have reverence of it. Praise the Lord. Uh, we continue with our, with our teaching on blessings. Glory to God. I brought this teaching about for us to know, number one, that you belong to God to tell you that this reality, it's not just a story. It's a very, very perfect truth Amen. that you belong to God. I would just wanted that reality to sink in our heart. Oh, yes. Because if you don't know that you belong to God, you'll never know whether God cares for you or yes. he doesn't care for you. Very true. We always, it seems like God is just some supernatural being that we got to obey him and just follow him, not to be punished, not seeing the biggest agenda that he is the creator of heaven and earth and he created you and you belong to him and in that line that you belong to God, Amen. he ultimately cares for you. Oh yes. God cares for you. Amen. God cares for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. No matter how many times you feel like you're alone, you no matter how many times you feel things are not working the way you expect, oh, yes. does not disqualify him to be your God and to be your father. Amen. So if he's your father, every father, son, there is a relationship, and in that relationship, there is blessings of the Father. Amen. There always are the inheritance from the Father. Amen. There always are protection and security from the Father. Amen. So it's not just a God that we believe uh, so that things will be good for us. Oh, yes. We don't believe in God so that things will be good for us. I told us from the first time Amen. that number one thing about God, He is a Father. Amen. He created heaven and earth. Yes. He has never taken everything away from him. Very true. From him, his protection. That's Amen. why there are people he created, but they chose not to believe him, but to be Islamic. Very there true. are people that he created and he chose not to believe him and become Hindus oh, and yes. to become pagans and become atheists. Yes. And still God has never stopped blessing them. God have never stopped being kind to them. Amen. So if those people, the same God is kind, so, so dearly kind to them, how much more will God be kind to you? Praise the Lord. Amen. How much more will that God be kind to you? Amen. How much more? Yes. You have to come to a point where you believe. It's a faith matter. Amen. It's something you have to believe. Amen. The devil will come always to tell you that God is not concerned. You are yes. alone in this matter. Amen. The devil will kind of tell you, see all this trouble. Oh, yes. And you feel like you're, you're trying to entice some supernatural being to come for intervention, not knowing that behind the, him coming for intervention, all he wants is a relationship with you because he's your father. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, this example did come to me uh, by revelation. Think about, or uh, someone came to me just saying that, there's no God and they don't believe in anything to do with God. There's no God. To them, there's no God. And my, the question was, uh, the, 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 this example, you are born in a strange land. Praise the Lord. You are born with your father. You are born with your mother. You are born with your family. And they took you when you were infant, very young, to another strange land. You stayed there alone for long years. 
you are now 30, 40, and someone comes and tells you that you know what, I'm your father. The one that you're living with is not your father. It, will, it won't be easy for you to believe. How? No, this is my father. Because this other one also said that I am your father. This other one says, but this one, the genuine father also said, I'm your father. I'm the one who created you. And Satan say, since you are born, you have been with me in this world. I've been frustrating you. You know sickness. You know our home is full of sickness. You know the curses of the home. Amen. You know such kind of things. Yes. But God is saying, no. Amen. You just ran away while you were young. Yes. But I'm your father. Amen. When you have that kind of mind, you know how to come back to him. Amen. That's the first perspective. God does not want you just to have a relationship with him because he's a supernatural God. He wants to manifest his supernatural. He is not selfish. Very true. The way we have been relating with God is like God is so selfish to which he only wants you for his agenda. That he doesn't want any relationship to mean if you forsake his agenda, he forsake you, doesn't want you. That is not true. That's not our father's do. Very true. Our father, you can accept your child whether they want to promote your project, whether they want to, to help you with your land, Amen. whether he doesn't want to help you with your land, whether they want to support your company. But if you realize your son, you'll call them home. If one of them accept to inherit and help the company, it's okay. If the other refuse, it's okay. Does not make you now chase them from home. That you know what? If you don't want to support my company, go away from my home. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is not selfish. The first priority God was looking at is having a relationship. Hallelujah. You, I created you because I loved you. Amen. And when I looked at you and I created you, there's love that I had for Amen. you. Amen. Let me tell you, the biggest project of God that is in this generation from the time of the fall of Adam yes. was not the call of Adam. Amen. Because our call is to manifest his glory all over the earth Amen. and to preach the kingdom of God to every generation. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. That is the ultimate goal for everybody, whether they know it or they don't know it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But it started, that call just started when Adam fell. But when Adam had not fallen, when Adam was perfect, there was no need of, of preaching. Everybody grew new in God. Everyone grew knowing the perfect will of God. Everyone knew God. Amen. Everyone knew God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. It was because of the fall. The said that I tell you, before the fall, before the fall, God all he had was relationship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So as, as a father, he wants that relationship. Oh, yes. The first, the zero ground, the zero class, you and God, God wants relationship. That you'll be in relationship with him as a father. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when you look at him as a father, the things you just know a father can never allow to happen to your life. The things you know a father will allow. A father can never allow you to walk in a curse that he can help you through. Praise the Lord. He's not an evil God. He's an evil. He's, a, he's not an evil father. Very he's good. a good one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First priority is God is a father. Amen. And if God is a father, that ultimately means that no matter the situation, no matter the hard heartedness of everything you go through, yes. he wants a relationship. Say relationship. Relationship. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants a relationship with you as a father. Amen. As your creator. Amen. As your maker. Amen. He wants that relationship. Amen. When that relationship comes, yes. he doesn't just send you like he was just waiting for that relationship to come to send you. He will allow you to grow fast, to enjoy his partnership. Amen. To enjoy it until you come to the full knowledge that you don't doubt. Yes. That's what a father will do. Imagine this father that the son ran away while he was young or was stolen while he was young. You don't bring your son like this and the same day you tell them that you know now you have come home, you are my son, you know that is my company, I want you to say, no. God allows you to come close. Amen. To know him. It's time, so you tell the son, it's time be in the house, at least know me, I know you have not been together for long. Yes. You have never known, how, even you don't know anything about me. Yes. By you knowing me, you will know you. 
Amen. Because you know the bloodline to which you came from, though you ran when you were young. Very true. That's how that new, the, the original father will say. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Until number one, there are two things. The, that father will have, will trust you. We know, really, even though he ran away, is my genuine son. Amen. I can feel the blood connection. I can feel the way he conduct himself, the way he do things. He do like me. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he will start to trust you. Amen. And you too will to trust him because no matter how much is true that that new father is your father, that, that uh, person is your father, but you never knew me for long, mm. you won't come in his life and say, wow, it's my father, now I trust him. It won't. The nature won't allow you. Very true. The nature of humanity won't allow you. It yes. will allow you to see him where, where, if he's anger, how is he? How he, does he behave when he's angry? Yes. What does he do? Is he responsible? Is he? Is there? Is there anything that can prove in the nature form that he's your father? Yes. Apart from scientific proofs, is there anything about his life that proves that he's a father? Mm -hmm. How he conduct himself? And you too will have to trust him, Amen. not by law, not by command. Oh, yes. But because you have already come to a relationship point. Amen. So in that way, God wants that relationship point with him. Amen. That, okay, you ran away. The devil took you away when you are young. From your mother's womb, you are, you, are, you are lost. You are a sinner from your mother's womb. Jesus. But when you came, I appeared to you. Amen. Through the gospel you had that Amen. I am your father. Yes. I created you. Amen. Now you come to him. And number one, you start to learn him. Amen. Okay, if you're my father, then you, you have you learn him. Amen. And you have frequent communication. You ask him questions. Amen. And then for him, he'll sit like you. Yes, you feel home until you feel home. Amen. It's when, when now you trust one another, he tells you, I have some project I was doing and I, I'm doing. And I have some of your brothers are in that project. Yes. So I want to send you. Amen. Will allow me to send you. That's what the Bible says. I'm the door knocking. To mean, I'm not forcing you. Though you're my son, you're my daughter. I'm not forcing you. Go and do that work. Amen. So when you see God, God coming to the field to be servant of God is not a law. Yes. It's out of relationship that we have trusted one another. And I've come to the full assurance that he is my father. Amen. And I'm going to help him to to gain more of our brothers and sisters that are lost. Very true. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say our Father. Our Father. When you know that is our Father, you will trust Him. Amen. By time. Amen. Will, yeah, it's, it's very, very... God doesn't like you mistrusting Him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like it. But by time, you will come to that proof that I feel like I can trust Him. Amen. He's really my Father. Yes. I was hungry yesterday, he provided food. Amen. I was sick, he brought healing. Amen. I was alone, he came and he gave me company. Amen. I was oppressed, he gave me, healed me. Oh, yes. I was attacked by the devil, he came for my protection. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say he is our father. He is our father. So God is not just a selfish God Very that just wants you to come into him and believe him. When you believe him immediately, he starts to give you this work, this work, this work. You know you are my son, you are my father, you, are, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do that. And then when you realize it, you are in a work and you don't have a relationship with him. And that is what pastors and many people in church are forced, are forced people to be in. Someone is born again before they know even God as a father. Before they even trust God and God trust them, you are forced into work. And what happens is you find most anointed people, but they don't have a relationship with him as a father. Amen. They have only connection with him as a God whom you click some principle and then this is happening. It's like they have put some, some not in a remote form. That do this, you'll have this. Do this, you'll have this. Do this, you'll have this. It's not so. It's not so. Oh, yes. Principles are there. They work. Amen. But they can kill your hunger for relationship with you. They can kill it. It can kill. It can kill. 
You know, some people are told, the reason some people pray for long or pray in times is because they want power. The reason why some people go for fasting probably is the, they want power. They want, they want when they come, they do their hand like this, everyone fall. All they, they, all they want is when they, they, they just want to prove a point, they want some miracle. Look, all those things are very important. Praying tongues for long is important. Praying for long is important. Fasting is important. But if you do them just as principle to acquire something from God and you don't have relationship with Him yes. as a father, Very it will affect your work. Very it true. will affect your work. Number one, I want you to you take my example. My example was uh, for them that are joining us, you have a you, you get born and when you are young, you are stolen from your father's compound. Oh, yes. When you are very young, before even you open your eyes, probably Amen. you are months old. You go and live with this other strange guy who's told you. Yes. After 30 years, you don't doubt that he's your father. Mm -hmm. You know he's your father. You, because he has grown telling you so. You, you, you behave like him. You kill like him. You lie like him. You do everything like him. And then someone comes and says, no, I'm your father. That guy stole you. He stole you from me, but I want you back. What we were looking at, that's how our relationship with God has been. Where, when we were young, we were nobody yes. from our mother's womb. Yes. Because we are in the bloodline of Adam. Amen. We are already stolen. Amen by sin, by the devil. Amen. We are bathed sinners. We are bathed when we have the bloodline of a sinning Adam. Amen. It takes God for us to come back to him and we'll come back to him. Is him that sent someone tell, oh, yes. that is my son. You see that one? The devil is having that's my son. So imagine this new father come to this home and tell you that, you know, you are in this home but this is not your home. But what? No, you can't tell me. And say, no, this is not your home. And you ask him, who are you first of all? And he says, I'm, the, I'm your father. I've never known you since I was young. I'm now 30, 40. You're telling me you're my father? And this is my father. I've been living with him. He has always told me that he's my father. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's telling me stories before I sleep. Yes. He's the one who paid my school fee. Oh, yes. He's the one who taught me how to steal. Oh, yes. He's the one who taught me even how to kill. You know, we kill for living. Mm -hmm. He's the one who taught me to lie. Mm -hmm. That's what that devil taught you. What we are looking at for you when, when this new father, you are already now real father, convince you. Number one, it will take you time yes. to believe in him Very true. and to trust him. Very true. Even if you go, you say, okay, let's go to your home. You, you, you are so called my father. Okay, so let's go to your home. You go to their home. You will take time to trust him. Very he will take, and even for him himself, he will take time to trust you. Very true. And the things that he will try so hard is to make you unlearn the things that you learned from this who stole you, this kidnapper. Yes. Okay? Amen. So you realize that's why God is saying everyone who is born again that now I've taken you from this kidnapper who kidnapped you from young. Yes. That is Satan. If you now come back to me, the first priority of that father, the original father, is relationship. Amen. Is relationship. Amen. Not work. Not to be a pastor. Yes. Not to be a prophet. Amen. Not to be an intercessor. Hallelujah. Is a relationship. Amen. So the first priority that God is looking for all of us his relationship. Amen. Because it is now your real father. Hallelujah. You are coming from a kidnapper. Amen. Think, be in the shoes of this original father. How will you treat your son? How? Will you just bring them and if they try to behave like the other one, you, you cane them? You knew that they were kidnapped. Yes. All you'll try that no matter what, you'll be patient with them. Yes. Until they learn your nature. Amen. Until they know if 
now this I've not is my father then in our home we don't behave like that yes in our home we don't kill we don't lie we don't murder we don't fornicate we don't do that mm-hmm. it's a relationship you Amen. learn Amen. and when you learn this relationship you come to the point where you start to behave like you are now original father Amen. at that point now your original father will start to trust you with work Amen. Take example your father was a pro- having a project. Praise the Lord. Amen. He has a project, he has a company. And now he want more he want you to go and there because you are the son. He want you to go and work in that company and also he want you to have inheritance of the home. Amen. Number one, he will allow you to grow, to trust him and for him to trust you that responsibility. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So imagine you have come to that point. At that point is when God can usher people into work, apostolic, whatever. And you got me, some of you got me where I was explaining. We have many, many, many uh, pastors, prophets, or fathers who have been in a hurry to send people for mission work. And when the people come in their life, they get born again before even they know God as their father. When you are born again, the ultimate sight how you see God is you see him as God. Yes. A supernatural being. Yeah. That is not a relationship. Yeah. Because if you just see him as a supernatural being, you won't see him as a father. But it, you have to take time. It takes time to know God as a father. It takes time. Amen. It takes time for you to know that Kidapo is not your father, this is your father. Yes. It takes time. It can take to one year, two years. It takes time. The fact that you can go and do ministry, you, the fact you can go and prophesy, the fact you can go and be apostle, does not qualif- does not assume that you have a perfect relationship with God as a father. Amen. And that's why we have many people who are in relation, who are in ministry, but all the function by is principle. I do say principle works. And they're very perfect and they're very good. I was giving example, probably uh, we said that I tell you, if you want power, you want power to heal the sick, go in prayer mountain for 40 days. You go in prayer mountain and what do I do? Just pray in tongues and read the Bible. Those are principles. You go there true, you'll come out with the power. Because those are principles into tapping into supernatural. Amen. But you can come out of that 40 days, but you have power and you don't have relationship. Very true. To him as a father. Amen. Not to him as God first, as a father. Hallelujah. The moment you don't know God as your father, you will never, never trust him. Yes. Never trust him. You will never trust him. You will trust principles. Mm. Because you got that power by principle. Mm. You got that power, you got that anointing by honoring someone, by someone laying hands on you. When that anointing, Ikeisha, what you go, you go for more hands. Yeah. When that person dies, or you move away from that person, your anointing dies. Yeah. And this is happening in our society. Because we have never learned we were kidnapped by Satan. Yes. We came back to him. He came to us. Yes. We did come. He came for us. That's why the Bible says, while we were while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We were still in this kidnapper, yes. and Jesus Christ came for us. Amen. All the first priority God wants with you yes. is relationship. Amen. His relationship. And that should be the easiest thing. If that's the thing we will have been taught. Would have been taught. Amen. But it's the hardest thing in our generation because we learn that later. How will you start to have a relationship with God that you don't see the advantage because everything you wanted, you can go and pray in tongues for 10 hours and got it. And get it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said that I pray for long and I love it. But the first priority between you and God is relationship. If there was a principle to be kept, principle number one, have relationship with God as a father. Amen. Because 
no matter how much I teach you about these blessings, the way we have been teaching about blessings, you'll be still seeing God as a supernatural being to which their pattern you go to click fast for him to release which blessing and which blessing. Amen. It's a game you're playing with your father. It's a game. If you have a good relationship with your own dad, your own natural dad, physical dad, he will not give you principle. He mm -hmm. won't tell you, you got to dig this whole farm for me to pay your school fee. Mm -hmm. Because if you, you will go to dig because it's your farm's, your dad's farm, right? Yes. You want to go to dig because it's a, pre a principle. A lot of things we keep as principle, they shouldn't be principle. They should be things that we do as a, just a family. In our home we pray. In our home we pray in tongues. We, we just love it. Yes. We just love it. Mm -hmm. Just bring it with God for the whole day. We just love it. We just love it. It's our home. We just do it. We pray. We give offerings. Not because it's our principle to be blessed. It's our home. It's the nature of our home. Amen. Just, just tap to how I, I think. Just tap into this atmosphere. Imagine you have your son. If your son, everything he does because he wants something from you. Know that you don't have a relationship with that son. Be a parent for now. And that is what we have been doing to God. Yes. That your son, for is the reason why he's washing dish is because he knows that if he doesn't wash dish, he won't eat. There's no relationship in that family. Mm -hmm. You don't have a relationship with that son, Very and true. that son has no relationship with you. Very true. The only thing that connects you is that he's your son. Oh, yes. But there's a how you can live, and the son knows this is a home I got to wash the dishes. A son leaves and knows that this home, the things we don't do home. Because it's a home. You love your home. Amen. You protect. A, a son who keeps principle can never protect home. Amen. Because number one, he does everything to gain from that home. Yes. Why should he protect? He's, he's a business. He's a business manager in that home. Mm -hmm. And that is what many Christians are in the presence of God. So when that happens, you can never have inheritance easily. God can never trust you with any inheritance. It can never because God looks at the heart. Amen. And the heart has to have a relationship. Amen. Anybody who does everything just because a cause and principle to God only and you're perfect at that. One thing that shows is God can never trust you. Very true. He can never. Because principle does not come from the heart. When it's a principle, it's not from the heart. Yes. It's from the knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's from the knowledge. Yes. To mean is your mind. You are controlling the system of spiritual with your mind. Amen. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes to your heart, you'll do it out of relationship. Mm -hmm. You will kneel down to pray out of relationship. You won't get tired. Yes. Oh, one hour you go. You three hours you go. Four mm -hmm. hours, ten hours you go. Mm -hmm. Not because I need power. It's because mm -hmm. I, I have a relationship with the Father. We are just talking with the Father. It's so sweet when you love your Father and He makes a call. And he calls you. Amen. Even if airtime ends, you'll buy a call. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yesterday, I called my mom. And I have a sister here. She called June. I think she has been here. Once. Amen. We started to talk, talk, talk. I wanted to end the call. And something just clicked. It's a relationship. No matter if you don't speak anything sensible, just stories and laughing with that mother. It's a relationship. It's lovely. Amen. Airtime ends, you buy another one. I mean, it's lovely. Even if you don't speak about digging a farm, about bringing to con to contractor, about building this one, you just talk. Natural talk. You just Amen. talk. Amen. You find it's a relationship. It's a relationship. You don't mind. You just love it. She laughs, you laugh. Amen. Why do you think God is worse than your father? And the Bible yet says that God is better than your earthly father. Amen. The Bible says, God is better than your earthly father. Yes. If you go to pray, 
Don't pray because it's our principle to be blessed. Please. Amen. Have a relationship with him. Teach us, man of God. If you got to give your tithe, give your offering, give your seed. Grow, mature up. Not to say it's just a seed because it's a principle to be blessed. Yeah. Stop doing business with God. You'll miss this relationship. Amen. And for him, he needs relationship more than your seed. Oh, yes. He needs relationship more than your tithe. Amen. Truth be told. Yes. God needs that relationship more than anything else. Hallelujah. The reason why people are good in church but they're bad outside, they don't have relationship. They don't have relationship with him as a father. Amen. And in his heart, he's looking for his sons. He's calling for his sons Amen. and for his daughters. Yes. He's calling for sons and daughters. Before he make you a servant, he wants that son and that daughter. Amen. You have been in salvation for long. Yes. Now the biggest question. You are born again, but do you have a relationship with him as a father? Do you have a relationship with him as a father? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Why do you come to church? Yes. Why do you do what you do? Are you doing because they are just things, they are baton, you know that I'm doing this baton, and it, I know if I dial this baton in the spirit, I will get 100,000? No. You know that if I come to church every day, demon will go, so I won't have demon. When demon goes, you know what? You leave the church. Mm. Because you got what you wanted. You are a business person. Don't be a business person Amen. in this kingdom. Hallelujah. Have a relationship with him. Amen. The worst thing of being a business person in this kingdom is when you have already got what you want, Very you true. will walk away. Very true. And that thing won't be protected. Amen. You have seen people get job and that job is not protected. Yes. You have seen people start business. God, man of God prays for them. They start business but later on the business is down. Yeah. You have seen people get healed. Later on they heal the sickness is back. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. It's because they came to God as business people. Jesus. They knew that if I do this, God will do this to me. Mm -hmm. And they walk away. What, if, if I have my mind, I go to the shop. Why should I remain in the shop? Why? Even if I remain in the shop, there's nothing I'm doing. Yes. And that has been the church today. Lack of relationship with God as a father. Someone kidnap yes. your son. Finish. You look for this son for one year. Yeah. You don't find your son. Mm -hmm. You look for your son for two years. You don't find your son. Yeah. Three up to 40 years. Yes. Tell me how you will feel when you finally found your son. Tell me how much you will show love for that son. If an earthly father can show that love yes. for that son. Yes. How much more is your heavenly father? Very true. That's why we don't trust that God really loves us. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the love of God, is like something coming and passing. It's nothing. It's just God loves you. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's not big agenda. God loves you, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not big agenda. The biggest agenda is God will do this miracle to you. Mm -hmm. Very bad. Very bad doctrine. Very bad doctrine. very bad. <laughs> Apostle called me I think it was last week before a minister and told me told me that Apostle all I want you to do is just teach them. Amen. And I asked why. And he told me I just want these people to just know God. Amen. This is what your father wants. Amen. He said that he doesn't want people you teach people sitting waiting for prophecy every day. Mm. Nobody want to all they want the someone to be short so that prophecy can come. Because they have come for a business in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. 
you here today and probably people who are watching yes this is word for you amen find a relationship with him as a father amen just do it find a relationship with him as a father amen when you have a father there's nothing you can deny your father because Fit. you know as much as you can give for him all of he can give freely what he wants yes god does not do our father does not do calculation when he knows that is a son to him mm. he will give you everything because he knows you can give everything to him yes he can pay your school fee gives you food he knows our father knows that whatever you need it is his responsibility the father knows your insecurity it's his responsibility yeah. the father knows your lack of inheritance it's his failures amen god wish the best for you please understand heavenly father wish the best for you amen jesus looked at the heart of the father and he gave a parable of the lost son and that is who we are been you walk away from him when you came back you want to treat you the way the church elders would treat you you try go and walk away be a fornicator outside here and come to church please they will even kick you that day the words they will tell you will take years to heal but the bible says when this father saw the son running towards he also ran to grab the son what a love what a love don't see him that just like a supernatural god who created heaven and earth and you need to click button to receive things from him from today first priority have a relation to him as a father Amen. When you go and kneel down, you are not kneeling as a principle that you you are showing humility. You just have a relationship with the Father. Amen. Relationship. When a son has a relationship with their father very well, yes. Every need of their father will be his the child responsibility. Daddy, what do you want to wash the car? Just let me wash. Most children of today physical they don't have a relationship with their fathers. Yes. If you see a father taking their car to car wash and a son is seated. Is lack of relationship. How how will you? How? Daddy I'm doing nothing. Can I just wash the car? Unless the daddy say no, I I can do it. I can take it. Uh you got something to do. think of a natural father what they can give the best for their children much more your heavenly father can give you that much more much more much more never use god as a supermarket anymore he loves you and is calling you because he just want you as daughter as a son shall we rise up on our feet just lift up your hand and call him father your daughter and your son is here your daughter is here your son is here i've come to worship you oh lord god Forgive me for the matter of fact that I uh, many times I've used you as a business someone that I come take things work out forget about you when things are bad I blame you when things are good I walk away Lord forgive us and help us now we can't do with our flesh but help us to have a relationship with you as a father so that we may walk in this vineyard not as a principle that we're expecting but as a family project so that we may win soul as 
knowing this is our father's project and we are his sons and daughters and we got to do it so that we, when we pray, we give, we do everything. Father, we do it because it's something that is we do at our home as a family. As a family. As a family. Not as humanity that is trying to please some supernatural God at least, at least to have something from him. Father, help us because we want to relationship with you. Really, we do. We do. Help us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap for him. Someone say, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. How I love you. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. How I love you. How I love you. Say, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. How I love you. Glory to God. Glory to God. May you love him forever with all of your heart, soul, and spirit. Amen. Give him your best as your her daughter and Amen. son. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that your father is a king? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So hi, princess and prince. Hi, too. <laughs> I want to just lift up your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you have called us to this day and Lord, you have reminded us about having a relationship with you as a father. I pray upon this soul that let this message spread around. Let use their lips so that this message may spread around in this town, in this country, around the world so that our heart may be revived again to loving you genuinely without expecting anything. And you, Lord, loving us as your sons first. Yes. yes. Lord, thank you because you have been so good and kind. Yes. You have been supplying our needs, not because of our principle, but Lord, you have been doing that because you are our Father. And here we are to say thank you. Thank you. More than anything, we can say thank you, Lord thank Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Smile loud as you say amen. Amen. Take your envelope and put your seed and take your offerings as we give for the purpose of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. For the purpose of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. <laughs>